So a while back I made this video right here on the five different products that I thought AI did really good at and those are still really good but I forgot to mention one product and that is mugs. A lot of people do mugs, mugs are very popular. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use AI to create a couple of designs that I think will really stand out on mugs for print on demand. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk about mugs, more specifically AI designs for mugs. And you can use these for Etsy or Redbubble. I was inspired to do this video by this video right here that I saw Alex do. He talked about how you can make thousands and thousands of dollars with Etsy on mugs. Now, I'm not sure if you, I can guarantee that, but I'm gonna show you different techniques in this video uh, that he hasn't shown on his. So his video is great. We're still gonna, I'm still gonna use AI, but I'm gonna use it more for Redbubble. And I'm gonna have this design in Affinity Designer. And you can use Canva if you want, but I think Affinity Designer is more well equipped to do the things that I'm gonna show you how to do. So let's get into Mid Journey first. I'm gonna go into the Discord. I'm gonna show you the prompts that I've used to make these designs and then I'm gonna bring it all into Affinity Designer and after that, export it from Affinity Designer to Redbubble and show you how it looks like and how it turns out. So first things first, let's get into the Discord with Mid Journey. All right, so here we are on the Discord with my Mid Journey prompts and stuff. Again, I made my own channel if you haven't seen that in my videos. So I, I don't have anybody else on here, but these are the prompts that I've used for the ones that I'm gonna use in the video. So. Here's um, beautiful watercolor flowers on a white background. Now white background is really important because we're gonna put it on a white mug uh, and you can use anything else in here. So I would do, you can do watercolor flowers. Uh, I'm gonna do flowers here, but it could be cactus. It could be, um, you know, other things on here that you like. Uh, sunflowers would be good, um, birds, mushrooms, whatever you want. Uh, I just use flowers because I think flowers probably do really well for, for mugs and I've seen it a lot on Redbubble. So here it is, you can copy this. And then I did dash dash tile. So what this is, is it's gonna tile so we can use it for other products like a pattern on Redbubble. So you can copy this or you can use your own. I think the, the thing that I would say to use on this one is on a white background space dash dash tile uh, so that you can have that tiling feature. And you can see I just upscaled one of them, uh, number two right here. And we're gonna use this as one of the designs for the mugs. The next thing I did was do this. I did a frame of a beautiful spring flowers. So you can see now it has a white background and it kind of has a frame. Now it didn't do exactly what I wanted. I kind of wanted more of a square frame around it, but I'm gonna show you something else that I did. So this frame I think will still work. It's a repeatable pattern too, so it's gonna turn out really cool. You can copy this as well, a frame of beautiful spring flowers in a watercolor style on a background, on a white background, more specifically dash space, dash dash tile, right? So make sure you put that last part in there. It doesn't have to be flowers, but I think again, it would be great. Uh, and it can be any kind of flowers. I would say, you know, do sunflowers or do daisies or do roses and, and that kind of stuff. I think you can do this multiple times and scale it. And this last one uh, is what it did a frame. So I did sur colorful round flower frame in a watercolor style. Now you could do square um, flower frame or di um, diamond shape frame, I guess would work too. But this worked out well. We're gonna put this on each side of the mug and I'll show you how to do that as well. And maybe some text in here. And I think that's gonna be a really cool mug too. So we're gonna have this one with the frame. Uh, we're gonna use this in a, in a certain style and then we're gonna use these diagonal ones. So we're gonna open up Affinity Designer next and I'll show you some of the things that I put in Affinity Designer that's gonna help us out uh, know the position of where to put things on the mug. All right, so here we are on Affinity Designer. I downloaded a few things. So first I went to Printful and I downloaded the templates for their 11 ounce mug and a template for their 15 ounce mug and I put it in here to the right artboard size. Uh, now you don't have to do this on yours. I'm gonna share this with you on my free downloads page so you can have this whole thing. Uh, the next thing I did was I made an artboard for the Redbubble standard mug, which is the small one. And then there's a tall mug on Redbubble as well. Um, they didn't do this. You can see I'm repeating this. What they did was this. So they have 
their own template, but I like this template because it tells you where the center of the mug is. So uh, I'm gonna leave that right there as well as right here on the tall mug, you can see where the center of the mug is. So this is gonna really help um, with layout. So whatever we want here, like if you're gonna put your t-shirt design, this will be great. If you want t-shirt designs on your mug, I would put it right here on that edge and right here, because you can see that it will show it on that mug this way and they'll show it on the mug this way. That's what that's saying. So this will work for Printful or for Redbubble, depending on which one that you wanna use. Uh, and it will work on the tall one. So we're gonna concentrate on the tall one first and just so it fits on the tall one and then uh, it's gonna overflow on the big one. So it, it'll, on the small one, so it'll be fine. Uh, so let's go to zoom in to this Redbubble tall mug here. Okay, and we're mainly gonna do that. So first things first, let's drag in one of our designs, our flower designs, boom. Now we know this is a repeating pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go up like this and then I'm gonna hold down option and drag and shift and drag and I'm gonna make it touch each other, right? So right here, like that. And you can see if we zoom in, um, it's a repeatable pattern. You can't even see where, where one starts and one ends, right? Now, if I do it right, I can hit J. So let's do it again and put it right there and then hit J and it will do it exactly the same, right? And now I can take both of these and I can move it to the center or whatever I want, but I can hold down Option Shift again and put it right up against there and make sure that it's right at the edge, just touching, boom. And then if you zoom in, you can't really see where one starts and one begins, right? So this right here uh, will make, by itself, will make a great uh, pattern. So I'm gonna save this as one. Um, I'm gonna do Command Option Shift S and selected area is good. I'm gonna export this as full flower mug design, save. Now another thing you can do with this is you can make a space here um, for uh, words or letter or whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off some of these here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna remove myself here so now you can see this guidelines. This is where this is gonna help. So I'm gonna do a oval and put it like that. Now I want this to be centered. So I'm gonna center this on the artboard. So I'm gonna use this right here, align vertically, boom. And it's aligned with that right there. So I'm gonna hold down Option, Shift, click on it and drag, and I'm gonna drag it to match that one right there. So what that's gonna do now when I turn it all back on is this, let me remove myself again, turn all of these back on. And you can see it makes a nice white space for anything you want. So I could put a letter in there, I could put some words in there. I made some words here on the side earlier so if I wanted words like this, I could put it in here, kind of squish it in, you know, or make, make the circle bigger. I could do that. Or I could uh, just put a letter in there, you know. What if I just want a D and put that D right there? I could do that and copy it and go like that. So that would look really cool too, right? So I'm going to save this just so you can see it on Redbubble. So I'm gonna go here, Command Option Shift S again. I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna get, call this the D mug. All right, just so we know on Redbubble. All right, so let's do this again. Let's remove these. Well, just the flowers. And I'm gonna bring in my other flower that I did, the diagonal flower, right? But I'm gonna make it so that the diagonal is right here. So let's remove the shape. And you can see where I'm going for the diagonal is gonna be in that spot where 
where it's big. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go half of the mug like that and half of the mug like that, right? So you can see now I have this white space in there and I can do it up and down. I'm gonna do, do this as well centered. So centered like that. Now if I hold this down and put it right there, remember this is also dash dash tile so it repeats and we want it to fill the whole thing. So we're gonna do it up like this right there as well as down here like that. And if, if you come in here and it isn't touching, you can come in here and just tap it a couple of times there and zoom in. Yep, that looks great. Okay, now I can put in these words in here, right? Be awesome, repeat. Or um, undo wake up. Be awesome, repeat, just like that. Okay, so let's move these over here as well. This is great. All right, so I'm gonna save this as um, wake up, be awesome. Boom, okay, one more. And let's do that rounded one that we saved. So the circle here and drag it in See that? We can make it big here. We can put whatever words we want in here. I'm gonna ungroup this. And I'm gonna make the words fit in better. Right? Whatever we want. So we got words here. We could put other words here. We could make it a quote, right? Let's say, make, make sure this is a quote. Um, whoever it is, right? Maybe it's a, a Bible quote or whatever it is. And now I can do this. Oh, let's move this guy. So we're just gonna copy this and put it right over that middle line right there. And right over the middle. Where is it? There, right? That'd be good. Now we're gonna need to either remove this or make the whole thing white. I'm just gonna remove it. So I'm gonna move myself from here, remove the guides that I have here, and this will be great. So I'm gonna save this as circle. Let's make sure these are the same. No, they're not the same. Um, Um, let's make sure I'm going to do this again. Option, shift, drag. So they should be the same there. And just want to make sure it's not touching the edge there. Okay. And we got to make sure that it's inside the, the lines for the small mug. And this one might not be, let me, Yeah, so you can see behind it, if I do the opacity, it's not quite there. So I'm gonna lock these down, these guides, and I'm gonna select everything and make sure that it fits in the small. See those guides? That's the small mug. So it has to make sure, make sure it fits in the small mug too. All right, so I can turn everything back on or put the opacity back up. Boom. Good, and hide these and export this as circle design. Cool. All right, so let's go into Redbubble now and I'll show you what these look like on the mugs. Okay, so here we are on Redbubble. I wanna show you really quickly what happens when we put these in. So the first one that we did, the, the full flower, I'm gonna bring that in here. And we're not gonna worry about title and tags and things like that. We can do that later. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go down to mugs when it loads up. We're gonna turn everything else back off. Uh, you can see it works on, on some of these other ones, but the mug is down here. All right, 
So perfect at 100%, the mug fills it, uh, and then we're gonna, I'm just gonna save it. But before I do, you can do one more thing. So uh, if you like this one, this is, remember this is a tile. So I'm gonna bring in the tile. Instead of putting the mug one in here first, I'm gonna replace this image and I'm gonna do the tile, which is all right here. Now, because this is a tile from Mid Journey, it will work on multiple products. So let's do this. Let's turn on everything that looks good on. We can come in here and we can choose pattern and we can do regular grid. And you can see it works on that. Uh, it can work on stickers. I'm gonna turn that off though. It can work on pillows, right? Because it's a pattern. I'm gonna choose pattern, uh, regular grid, perfect. Nice, right? So what you would do now, if you wanna use the mug, you would come in here and go and do replace image just for the mug. And then I'm gonna do full um, flower mug. I could have tiled the mug, right? It has the tile, repeat tile here. So I wouldn't actually do that just for the mug, but what I would do is the D pattern. So I could do this D mug here and let's see what happens there. Now this is using the same tile pattern, but I'm using it with the D or the quote or whatever you wanna put it in the center, right? So now when you click on it, you see that D is right in the center, like we said, and it's on both sides now, the front and the back. So the center is connected. So if we did the center, you can see that right here, it, it goes great here, uh, and you can put anything in the middle, right? So I think this is really cool. You have the flexibility of putting patterns on different things like bandanas and scarves and shower curtains, right? And it matches uh, this mug here that you can put a quote in or a letter in or whatever you want. So I think this is really powerful, uh, especially on Redbubble where everything looks the same. So let's switch it out now. Let's switch out uh, this with the Wake Up Be Awesome design. So this one is just gonna be for mugs. Now we could put that pattern in again, that diagonal pattern, but I'm gonna show you what the diagonal pattern looks like on mugs first. So here it is on a mug. Oh, right? So you can see it's right there in the center and it looks great on this mug right here. And I think that that turned out well. If we just did that pattern as a repeatable pattern, let's try that uh, diagonal one. We could do it as a pattern, a regular grid pattern, and we could make it smaller, but that doesn't, I don't know, that kind of looks okay, um, but I kind of like the full flower pattern first instead. Like, let's try this shower curtain. So I don't think this tile, even though it's a tile, I don't think it works that well uh, on shower curtains and things like that. Maybe, maybe with the right one, but I, I think this one maybe doesn't work for me. If you wanna do it, you can, and you can still come in here with the mug and say, replace this with the Wake Up Be Awesome one, and then the mug will have that, right? Boom, so now the uh, mug has this, while everything else has that pattern. Okay, last one here. Let's replace this with the circle design. Now, the circle design will only work with the mug. Again, you could tile it and um, have circles everywhere and I can show you what that looks like but you can see this was made just for the mug and it looks awesome right it works on there uh, on the mug as well so have fun with these uh, I might as well show you what this looks like as a pattern so let's go in here and say uh, circle as a pattern well actually this isn't a repeatable pattern but because it has white around the edges uh, it can tile so let me show you what that does. I didn't put dot dot tile in here, but with the white background, you can see it, it does kind of tile, but it, it gives kind of a funny way we could do uh, offset pattern. And it's okay, but I, I don't think that's the kind of pattern that people want to buy. So uh, stickers I think would do really well as a sticker if we didn't put a white background behind it, if we knocked out the white background, but we didn't. Uh, you could, you could do that. Um, but it works really well as a mug too, if we do uh, go replace image with that circle design. Remember, you can put a letter in here or a phrase 
or whatever you want in here maybe even another picture you could put a face of a dog or, or something like that I think would be really well so so have fun with this and scale it and make lots and lots of different designs so there you go those are three different ways that I think you can use AI with flowers or whatever um, design that you want to do but you can do it in a full uh, pattern you can put that circle over it in that in that space so that you can write a quote you can have those diagonal patterns that work really well I think those look really cool on on mugs and you can also do just the circle frame I think all of these could do really well on mugs on both Redbubble and probably Etsy uh, you'll have to test it out and let, let me know Thanks again for watching. If you want to see another video with AI, I have this whole playlist right here with AI. Um, lots of mid journey, lots of Leonardo. So learn how to do different things. And I think you can uh, really scale up your business really fast. So thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.